Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the middle of November love reading for the sign of Aquarius. This will be for Aquarius sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. And obviously being a general reading, this will not resonate for everybody. And if this is not resonating for you at all, it just means I'm not tuning into your specific situation. And please don't try to make it fit if it doesn't sound like it's you. And go watch the other signs that make up your natal chart. As often there will be certainly additional messages, but they can sometimes resonate even more than your sun sign. And cross watchers, well the empress is jumping out right away. Cross watchers, please feel free to, if I'm speaking to Aquarius and it sounds like I'm speaking to you, by all means take it that way and also vice versa. Aquarius, if I'm talking about your other person and that's you, then of course, take it as it resonates. And do go check out the playlists I put together for you guys and the November readings I've done for all the signs as well as the November general and love. And feel free to browse around all the videos on my channel. I've got hundreds and many other topics that I've put together in some playlists, but not every video is in a playlist. So, however, if you see a title jump out at you, there's usually a message in there that you're meant to hear. So we have here the Empress. I'm going to pull nine cards and we're going to keep going here. So right away, we're starting with the Empress energy. And we have the Two of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the Seven of Swords, followed by the... Nine of Cups, followed by the Four of Wands. We got the four, Father of Cups, the World, and we have the Death card here. And guys, if you're new to my channel, I, I don't say this on all my videos anymore because I got tired of saying it, but I don't read reversals unless Spirit has me read them in reverse. I don't need to read reversals, but by all means, if you know how to read Tarot and you get a different message, based on a card coming out in the reverse, by all means, take whatever you're getting, okay? Um, so just so you know, that's why I turned all these upright. I don't need to read reversals because my guides give me the information the way it's supposed to come in. So with that, what we have here is we have a situation where there has been, there's a lot of love in a situation where possibly somebody has been um, hiding something, hiding how they feel. And they may be in a situation where they may have gone through, they, they may have been juggling the situation because they've been going through a transformation. But what's happening here is through this transformation, they're realizing that, you, you know, there's wish fulfillment opportunities here. There could be something coming to a completion here because there might have been a situation where there could have been children involved, but... There may have been some sort of, you know, maybe there was someone, you know, someone was, you were staying in a situation, Aquarius, where there may have been children involved, but at the end of the day, there was not a lot of love or that's something that was missing and you were deceiving yourself about something that you had deep emotion for. And maybe you needed to go through a transformation in order to discover that this is that you can have this emotional fulfillment. Um, and this happiness here in the physical plane. And with the four of wands here, this is stability. This is happiness. This is abundance. And it's like, I'm getting a couple cards that represent family. And so I'm getting the two of pentacles here with this butterfly. So to me, this feels like something around your family structure or concept of family might be changing. And something is definitely coming to a completion here with this death card. And it's also a rebirth, though. It's not just something dying and being done. This is Scorpio energy. This is the energy we are in right now. We're transitioning into Sagittarius. But this is about transformation and the phoenix rising out of the ashes here. So there's Because what's coming in is really gorgeous here. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, that's family stability. We're getting three cards relating possibly to the energy of family here. So let's get a, um, a message here about, and we have the Ace of Wands showing up right now. So there is a new beginning here, a passionate new beginning that's aligning for you. But I'm going to put that back in the deck because I hadn't specified where I was going to pull that card. So I'm going to see if it comes back out, but let's see why the Empress is here. 
the mother of swords. So there's some decisions being made here about are you nurtured in your current situation, Aquarius? Are you being nurtured? Are you feeling nurtured? Are you feeling totally iced out and cold? And, um, you know, you might be getting ready to cut the situation out because you have maybe been deceiving yourself or the other person that there is something here that is really nurturing because it doesn't feel like there is. It's like, I'm getting a contrast of nurturing energy and really cutting energy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? And we're getting the Star and the Wheel of Fortune. See, so whatever's happening for you right now, Aquarius, it's bringing in destiny. It's bringing in positive changes. It's bringing in healing. These are two cards of destiny that just jumped out. They're both major arcana cards, so it's a big message. Whatever you've been deceiving yourself about mentally, or if you've let fears hold you back, other people's expectations, things are changing for you, Aquarius, in a really positive way. Tell me about this too. Actually, no, tell me about this Father of Cups, the Son of Swords. So, yeah, you've been staying, you've been playing on the sidelines here. Uh, maybe you've been observing or watching a situation from a distance that you have felt an emotional connection to, but at the end of the day, like you're not in it. You're not actually in the situation that makes you feel emotionally fulfilled. And you're wanting that. You're wanting happiness and love and nurturing, but where you are, you're just not getting it. But the fact that you're having this epiphany right now is really positive for you, Aquarius. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. We're getting the Three of Cups. See, this transformation is really positive. This is a celebration. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. And it's the Eight of Cups. So see, you're walking away. Look at their broken glasses here. You're done with something that it's like there's no more water, no more emotion left in this situation. All the cups are broken. The cups representing emotions. It's done. You're going to where you can have, you're going to be happier on your own is what this is saying with this nine of cups. You'll be much more emotionally fulfilled by yourself here. Not that eventually there wouldn't be a partner, but what you're learning through this Aquarius is that I'm happier on my own rather than staying in something that's empty. It's like, you know, I'd rather be alone and good than staying in a situation that, that is devoid of, of real love and could be quite cold. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. No, I'm actually just going to pull a card on the Death card. They just changed my direction there. The Five of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. There's a splitting up energy. Look at that. This is the sword cutting through the earthworm into two pieces. And guess what? The earthworm's going to live. There's two pieces now. There's a splitting up. Something's splitting up. That's like, okay, this, this unit is done. It's cut in half. Now you have your stuff. I have my stuff. And... Therefore, you could be figuring out how to make that happen. Okay, so it does feel like something is, Aquarius, you're leaving a situation. I'm feeling like this is connected to the readings I've done for you recently, but I don't remember consciously what I say when I'm channeling. So I don't have a conscious recollection, but I do. they're bringing me to the fact that I think this is consistent with some of the past readings I've done for you recently. So do go check those out if this is resonating, because there will likely be more messages in there for you. So let's see where you're at in your headspace regarding this situation. We're getting the seven of wands. We're getting the five of wands. And we're getting the daughter of cups. So you are conflicted here. You could be feeling really defensive and, and kind of guarded. You could be standing your ground here. The daughter of cups is like... You know, the Daughter of Cups is the communication of how you feel. Opening up emotionally. 
asking for a relationship that is moving into more emotional fulfillment. Why is the five of wands here? The two of cups, see? It's like what you're wanting is, 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 is a love that is equal and shared and this doesn't feel like it's it. And so that's what's causing you the conflict. It's like, it feels like you've been wanting it to show up or it to become this, but it's just not meant to be that. It's like, why is the seven of the ace of swords? So you're getting the clarity here and you're, you're getting the truth coming in. It could be that you have just communicated that you want to move on from this situation and there could be some conflict arising about this. Where are you in your heart space about this, Aquarius? See, the sun, you know this is right. The sun, the six of wands. Look at this, you guys. This is amazing. And the sun of cups. Oh my God, this is why this is amazing. Check this out. You have been going through this transformation and look what happens here. This is the six of wands. You are emerging victoriously. Not only have you gone through the transition and the integration of this new you, you are now starting to fly free as this butterfly who not only has gone through the transformation, but now you've got your color. You've got your wings. You're living authentically from your heart because the blue and the green represent authentic communication, authentic truth, living your truth, as well as living from your heart with the green chakra, the green heart chakra. So, um, in your heart space, you are ready to offer this cup or to move on towards something that is, you're ready to give your cup to something that is going, someone who's going to receive it. And the first person who's going to receive it is yourself. You're going to give this love to yourself. This is not about moving on to another relationship. This is about nurturing yourself first, Aquarius, big time. Let's see where the other person is here regarding you. We're getting the judgment, the hermit and the fool. Wow. Three major arcanas again. So there's somebody over here. It may not be the person that you're leaving. It could be, but it could be somebody else. So take it as it resonates, but there's somebody over here who is spending some time alone. They're discovering some things about themselves. They're looking at their lives. They're evaluating what they want and they're ready to take some sort of a risk. They're ready to go forward on a new journey. This is a little chick who's ready to try to fly for the first time. And he's trusting that when he jumps off that branch, that there will be something there. Let's see where this person is in the heart space. We have the five of cups. The six of pentacles. And the three of pentacles. So we do have some regrets and sadness about the past here. And we also have balance, equal give and take, and we have working together. It's so interesting because I'm not sure who this person is, whether it's, again, the person you're leaving or a new person, but what I'm getting right now Here's the deal. Here's what I'm getting very loudly. Spirit just totally gave it to me. For those of you that, that this, this is, if this is about the person, the relationship that you're leaving, they are literally like discovering and spending some time alone and realizing how they may have been naive. They're being a little, they could be being a little naive about the fact that this relationship is as solid as they think it is. And they're sad about it, but they want, it's like they want to make it work, 
but they're sad about whatever's happened in the past. That's for some of you. It's not for all of you. Tell me about the fool. Yeah, and we're getting the eight of wands. So there is some sort of communication. And this is not an energy I typically feel with the fool card, the naivete. But that feels like it's coming in very strongly here. Where somebody is like they're fooling themselves that this can happen. And they're trying to like either tell you that or it's coming in at them really quickly. The hermit. The mother of cups. That's love. Somebody who's, a, they could be overly emotional about this actually is what I'm feeling on the judgment. Mother of Wands. Something about confidence and intimidation here. Why is a Five of Cups? The Ace of Wands. And the nine of nine of wands. Yeah, it does feel like this person, if this is the person you're leaving, it does feel like they want to make it right, but it doesn't mean that they can, if that makes it if that makes sense. Why is it three of pentacles here? The justice card. We're getting a couple cards of balancing here. Karmic justice. What goes around comes around. So if there's somebody here who's just very interesting scenario, Aquarius, I just have to say that. Um, and again, it's, I'm getting a couple different scenarios. So take it as it resonates and don't make it fit. If it doesn't, this is a, this feels like a very specific message. What is this communication about the emperor? Yeah, they could be kind of cold and dictatorial a little bit. It feels like they want to do something, take the lead. Very interesting message. Very interesting message, Aquarius. You guys are going to have to let me know how this resonates for you. And I'm going to know it's going to be different for everybody, but... Let's get the guidance for Aquarius. That might tell us everything, right? I was very clear on this reading until I got to this person. Okay, so there's something about where you are, Aquarius, or where if you're cross-watching. It's this person that I was getting a couple different scenarios and a little bit not as clear. So just know that this is the area that I am a little bit like, okay. I'm actually going to pull a couple cards before I do the guidance for Aquarius. Where's this person in their headspace about you? Yeah, see, they are overly, they're very much in love with love and they're kind of in this romantic, dreamy state of thinking about love and being in love. There's a lot of emotions here that they might be overly emotional. They might be fooling themselves here. And um, yeah, and where are you in your headspace about this person? Emotions are running high. Yeah, this is just about making sure that you be careful, that, that you're careful of not. It's like, don't poke the bear. This person's in the bear energy. They're overly emotional. They're overly intense right now. And they are like, they're kind of in fantasy world. It feels like about the fact that this relationship is totally fine and it's perfect. And it's like romantic and all this. And it's like, Aquarius, you know that this person, if you poke the bear, you could get really hurt um, physically. Not that like emotionally, it just feels like you could just be on the receiving end of some wrath here. And not necessarily physical wrath, but just like, it's almost like you're holding back this communication because you know that this is just not going to go well. And in your heart space... Yeah, adjustments are required. This is about you changing up your game plan and your strategy. This is about, you know what? I thought I was going on this path and I just need to change it. My path that I set out on 
is not the path that I am now going towards. I need to make some adjustments. So final guidance here for Aquarius. I've gone way longer than I wanted, but this was a very interesting energy. So I wanted to make sure I got you guys some clarity. So what's the final guidance for Aquarius here? A fiery climax approaches. See, the tension's been building, the energy's been building, and something's about to release and be let go. Um, and it's going to be intense, but like they showed you here, look at all this beautiful energy coming your way. Ten of Pentacles, celebration, stability, wish fulfillment here. Like all this beautiful energy coming your way. So hang in there, Aquarius. You can get through this and you deserve it because you need to be happy emotionally. And this feels like really nurturing yourself on a massive level. So with that, guys, I send you so much love. Bye.